Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Let's jump right into this video. The thing that we are going to do to prepare our cookies and cream cupcakes is make the filling. Um, this is a 8 ounce bar of cream cheese that has sat out at room temperature. I'm going to put this into my bowl and that's where we're going to start. Next, we're going to add sugar to the cream cheese. I'm going to be using about half a cup. Then I'm going to add my egg. Once you've added the egg, we're then going to add some salt. I'm going to add about a teaspoon of salt. I'm also adding about a tablespoon of vanilla extract. And then we're just going to take our blender and we're just going to blend everything together. All right, once everything is blended, our mixture is nice and smooth. We're going to move on to the next step, which we are going to take some candy. Now, you can use any type of candy you want. Um, I wanted that cookies and cream flavor, so this is what I'm using. I'm going to use the whole bar, and all I'm going to do is pretty much just break it up and put it into the microwave to melt it.
by Candy Bar, fresh out in the microwave. It still has some chunks in it. So I just use my spatula to kind of break it up and mix it up just to make sure everything is melted. There's no chunks or anything in it. So once I've done that, I'm going to add it to my cream cheese mixture. And then I'm just going to use my spatula and fold it in. I'm not using a blender on this. I'm just going to use the spatula. Just fold it in. Make sure everything is incorporated. Make sure the candy bar is mixed all in there with the cream cheese. So once your cream cheese mixture is done and you mixed your candy bar in and you folded it in and everything looks good, you're just going to set that to the side. So now we're just going to move on to the next step, which will be making the batter for our cupcakes. Um, I'm going to start with a clean bowl and some all-purpose flour. Of course, I never have all my things I need together. So here I am probably looking for a measuring cup <laughs> for my all-purpose flour. But, um, yeah, so we're just going to take about a few cups of all-purpose flour and mix it into our bowl, and then we're going to begin making our batter. This is the second time I'm making these cupcakes. I made them for my little brother's graduation, and they were such a hit. Everybody loved them. I decided to make them again. Um, so, yeah, here we go. And I am going to get it together eventually, and I'm going to have all my ingredients together like I'm supposed to. So once you have your all-purpose flour in your mixing bowl, we're then going to add the sugar. And I'm going to be adding about two cups of sugar to this.
I'm just gonna give this mixture a little, little stir for my flour and my sugar. And then I'm gonna add my next ingredient, which will be my cocoa powder. These are gonna be chocolate cupcakes. Once you add that to your mixture, just give it a quick mix. Just make sure all the cocoa powder is mixed well in with the flour and the sugar. The next ingredient I will be adding is going to be baking soda. I'm going to use about two tablespoons of that. I'm just going to add it to our mixture. Then I'll be adding salt. Once your salt has been added to your mixture, you're just going to mix it a little bit. Make sure everything is mixed together well. Um, then I'm going to move on to adding my next ingredient, which will be white vinegar. You could use apple cider vinegar if you choose, but this is what I had on hand, so this is what I will be using. And I'm just going to add that into my mixture um, because I will not be adding eggs to my batter. So this white um, vinegar is going to do the trick with the baking soda and help my cupcakes to rise. Next, I will be adding my vanilla extract to my batter. I will be adding to the batter is going to be about two cups of water. And then I will also be adding vegetable oil. Now you don't have to use vegetable oil. You could use butter. I just decided to use vegetable oil.
So once you have all your ingredients, you're just going to mix your batter and mix it well. Make sure everything is well incorporated. Make sure there's no lumps. Just make sure everything is mixed very well before we pop these things in the oven. So once your batter is mixed pretty well, everything is blended together, you have no lumps, everything is nice and smooth, we are now ready to assemble our cupcakes. So here I have my cupcake pan that I have lined with the cupcake liners. I'm now going to start pouring and spooning in my batter. Now with this, I am not filling them up just yet. I'm only covering the bottom of the cupcake liner with batter. And then the next step, I'm going to spoon in my cream cheese, that um, cream cheese mixture, I'm sorry, that we made first. I'm going to spoon that in to the middle, and then I'm going to pour the rest of the batter on top of that, just so that the cream cheese mixture can kind of be in the middle of the cupcake. So that is what I'm doing here. I'm starting with the bottom of the cupcake liner filling that and then I'm going to start spooning and you'll see just watch the video So as you can see right here, I have spooned in a spoonful of cream cheese mixture into the middle of every cupcake liner. So now I'm going back and um, with my batter and I'm just going to pour it on top of that. To kind of cover that cream cheese mixture and everything. And like I said, I kind of wanted the filling to be in the middle of the cupcake. So like when you bite into it, it's there.
Okay guys, so here's our cupcakes. Once everything is assembled, I pour the batter on top. So now we're going to put these in the oven at 350 degrees and they're going to cook for about 30 minutes. Okay guys, so we have made it to the end, our final step of icing our cupcakes. So here in this white bowl that I was showing you guys is my homemade icing. I did make this icing with the first batch of cupcakes I made. I told you guys in the beginning that this is the second time of me making these. But to make that icing, I used a bar of cream cheese, a stick of butter. Um, those were both at room temperature. I mixed those together. I added some powdered sugar and some vanilla extract, as well as about 10 Oreo cookies that I crushed and added that in there as well. That made my icing. It was absolutely delicious. So since I had enough left over, I'm going to use that to ice these cupcakes. These have cooled. They're ready to go, so we're going to start icing them. That batter did make about 24 cupcakes, which was perfect. I had a pan for my household, and I also had a pan to get to my little brother and my parents. They all loved them so much, so I decided to make another pan for them. But here I am icing my cupcakes, so I can taste one. Now, originally when I made these cupcakes, the presentation was so much better. I actually put the icing into a piping bag and I piped the icing on the cupcakes as well as I placed an Oreo cookie on top of each cupcake. But in my household, snacks don't last long. So I didn't have enough Oreo cookies to do that. And I didn't put the icing in the piping bag. I just decided to use my butter knife. So here we are. This is what they're looking like as you can see when they're nice and iced up and they're good to go. These were absolutely delicious. You guys have to try them. They were amazing. I don't even really care too much for chocolate like that, but these were worth it and they were good. I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.